Good morning, welcome back to my channel or good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day you are choosing to do this video. Today we are going to be moving through just a full rounded, full body practice flow sequence um, just to get us moving, get us breathing, bring us some energy and just bring us all the good vibes. So when you're ready, we're going to start in a comfortable seated position. So as always, take your time to get there, take any last little wiggles, scratches, adjust your clothing and then only when you feel ready, come into a place of stillness. And once you've found stillness, just let the eyes close if that's comfortable. And just take a moment to let your brain maybe catch up with the body or maybe it's the opposite for you. Maybe the body needs to catch up with the brain. Just let yourself arrive onto the mat. Noticing the energy you've arrived onto the mat with. Maybe it's sleepy energy from the night. Maybe you feel good and ready to go. You just want to get moving. Whatever it is for you, there's no right or wrong. Just noticing how you're feeling. And then straight away this morning... Begin to connect with your breath. Beginning to lengthen and deepen your inhales and your exhales. And just really enjoying maybe these first few deep breaths of your day. Beginning to send the breath into the belly, into the chest. So you're really using the whole body to begin to breathe. Lovely, and we're gonna get moving fairly quickly today. So keeping the breath going in a steady but natural way. You can either keep the eyes closed or maybe you just let the eyes open now. We're gonna inhale, circle the arms all the way up to the sky. Take a big full body stretch, maybe interlace the fingers, turn the palms up as if you were just waking up. Lovely. And then as you exhale, release the right fingertips to the right and just take a big side bend over towards that right hand side. Maybe the elbow can come down. Maybe it can't. Regardless, think about turning that left armpit open and just again breathing into that left side body. Lovely. And then from here, we're going to bend that left elbow, place the left palm onto the right ear. And then as you inhale, you're going to draw yourself all the way up and then draw that left el shoulder, sorry, to the left ear or left ear to left shoulder. Keep the right fingertips walking away from you and just feel that stretch through the right side of the neck. Again, just breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. And then inhale, come all the way back up. And then exhale, release the left hand to the mat. Good. Let's inhale, sweep the arms all the way up again. Big reach up. This time, exhale, left fingertips to the left. Big side bend over towards that left hand side. Again, maybe the elbow comes down. Think about turning, stretching the chest. Lovely. And then again, let's bend that right elbow, grab hold of the left ear. As you inhale, draw yourself all the way up and over towards the right. Draw the right ear to the right shoulder. And again, just walk the fingertips over towards the left and just breathe into that left space of the neck. Really nice. And then inhale, come back to center. 
And then exhale, just release the arms next to your body. Lovely. From there, place the hands forwards, roll over your knees or scoot the legs around. Come into your tabletop position. Spreading your fingers wide, bring the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And then from there, just begin to move around straight away. So maybe that means taking some hip circles. Maybe you're going to move into traditional cat and cow, maybe a combination of everything. Maybe you close the eyes again and just really feel into the body. So just a few moments here, just moving around. Lovely. And then whenever you feel ready, let's come back to our stable tabletop position. Inhale, just go ahead, tuck your toes under. And then as you exhale, let's lift the hips up and back, coming into your downward facing dog. Same as your tabletop, begin to move around right away. Really just kind of getting in some movement, especially for a morning practice, just loosening up any tension, any stiffness from the night that's just been. Lovely. And then when you're ready, let's find a little bit of stillness, relaxing the ankles, a little bend in the knee if you need that. On an inhale, let's lift the heels high. And then as you exhale, drop both heels over to the right, bend the knees and draw the bum towards the heels. From there, pop up onto the left fingertips and just feel that side body stretch open. Breathing in. And breathing out. Lovely. On an inhale, lift the heels back to center. And then exhale, heels to the left. Again, bend the knees, bring the bum towards the heels. Maybe you're on the right fingertips as you just stretch open that right side body. Really nice. And then inhale, lift back onto the heel toes. Sorry. And then exhale, relax the heels, come back into downward facing dog. Lovely. From here, we're going to inhale, sweep the right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, bend the right knee, open up through the hip. Begin to just circle that right ankle going one way and then the other. You can have a bend in the left knee if the hamstrings are feeling a little bit tired, a little bit tight. Lovely. And then inhale, re-square the hip, straighten the leg. And then exhale, release back into downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, the left leg lifts high to the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee, open the hip. Again, circle the left ankle, just loosening up through the joints. And just reversing the motion if you haven't already. Lovely. And then inhale, re-square the hips. And then exhale, release the foot back to the floor. On an inhale, we're going to roll forwards, come to our first high plank. And then exhale, drop your knees, lower slowly all the way down to the belly. Lovely. Untuck your toes, make little tents with the hands, come onto fingertips. And then as you inhale, let's lift into our first wide cobra, squeezing the lower body as you lift up through the chest. Exhale, slowly back down, coming into breath and movement. Inhale, cobra, lift up, open up. And then exhale as you lower. Inhale, lifting up, maybe lifting a little higher. Exhale to lower. One more time, inhale for cobra. And exhale as you lower. Really nice. Let's bring the hands flat underneath the shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Inhale, press to tabletop position. And then exhale, lift the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Take a nice slow breath in through the nose. Big ah, let it go. <sighs> Lovely. From there, let's bend the knees. Begin to walk the hands all the way towards the feet, coming into a little bit of a ragged doll at the back of the mat. 
Let the knees bend, let the head hang heavy, let the shoulders release. Stay in stillness or maybe just a moment to sway from side to side. Beautiful. And then from there, let's find stillness. Bend the knees, tuck your chin and just begin to roll vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way up through the spine, letting the head, letting the neck be the last thing to come up. Beautiful. From here, inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Find Kali Mudra, so the index fingers are pointing towards the sky. Bring the weight into the right foot, and we're just going to step the left foot over to the right side of the mat. Come onto the toes of the left foot. Inhale, reach up to the sky. And then as you exhale, take a side bend over to the right. Just send the hips towards the left. Feel that stretch through the left side of the body. Beautiful. And then place the left foot onto the floor. Bring the weight into the left foot and then step the right foot over to the left. Come onto the tippy toes of the right foot. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, side bend over to the left. Hips are drawing to the right, big breath in and big breath out. Lovely, now walking to the front of the mat like that. Right foot comes down, step the left foot to the right, inhale, reach up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, back to center, step the right foot over to the left, inhale, reach up. Exhale to the left. Beautiful, inhale, place the foot down, step the left foot over to the right, inhale, exhale over to the right, it's a bit of a confusing one for me, <laughs> good, and then drop the left foot down, inhale one more time, step the right foot over, lengthen, and then exhale over to the left. Beautiful, place the foot down, inhale, just step the left foot to meet the right foot and release the arms next to your hips. And then just take yourself back to the middle of the mat if you're not quite, release the arms. Let's find mountain pose here. Spread your toes as you just grow tall through the spine. Let's close the eyes for a moment. Taking two deep cleansing breaths together before we move into our flow. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Big sigh, let it go. One more like that, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Lovely, let the eyes flicker open. Inhale, raise your arms to the sky, look to the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold, hands down, head to knee. Inhale to flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back to plank. Either lower chaturanga or lower to the belly. Inhaling cobra or upward dog if you're ready. Exhaling hips high, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, inhaling for one. Exhaling for one. Inhaling for two. Exhaling for two. Inhaling three tip toes. Exhale, bend the knees, step, walk or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to flat back. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up to standing, look to the thumbs. And then exhale, release the hands to the heart, release the arms next to your hips. Again, inhale, arms to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale to flat back, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down, chaturanga or lower to the floor. Inhaling to cobra or upward facing dog. Exhaling to downward facing dog. Take one deep breath in. And one deep breath out. 
Inhale, lift heels, look up. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale to flat back. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up, press through the feet. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, release them next to your hips. Again like that, inhale, arms to the sky, building some energy. Exhale, forward fold, hands down. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down, chaturanga or the belly. Inhaling to cobra or upward facing dog. Exhaling to downward facing dog. This time straight away, inhale, lift heels, look up. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhaling to forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up, press through the feet. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart, release your arms next to your hips. Really nice, straight into chair pose. Inhale, bend the knees, find chair pose, Utkatasana. As you exhale, aeroplane your arms behind you, bring your chest to your thighs. Two more like that. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, chest to thigh, aeroplane the arms. One more time, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, chest to thighs, aeroplane the arms. This time, inhale to standing, straighten the legs, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold over the legs, nose to knee. Inhale to flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down, chaturanga or lower to the ground. Inhaling to your back bend. Exhaling to downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in. And a slow deep breath out. Lovely. Let's inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring the right knee towards the nose. Give it a squeeze. Press through the hands. Hold it here for three, for two, for one. Inhale, three-legged dog. Reach the right leg up and back. And then exhale, look forwards and step that right foot all the way between the palms. Staying on the ball of the back foot, let's inhale, rise to high crescent lunge. And then exhale straight away, open into warrior two. Beautiful, adjust your feet, settle in for a few breaths. Shoulders are soft and just ground down through each part of the feet. Breath in. Breathing out. Lovely. On an inhale, left hand onto the left thigh. Flip the right hand, reverse your warrior. Bend into it, feel that side body stretch. And then same as we did at the start of the practice, seated, let's bend the right elbow, grab hold of the left ear. But this time, just let the weight of the head fall into that right palm, just so you feel a deeper stretch through the right side of the body. Breathe in. Breathing out, really nice. Let's take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, come all the way up, bringing the right forearm to the right thigh, left arm over the ear. If you've got more space, you want to work into right hand to a block or right hand to the floor. Think about reaching that left arm forwards, 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 just so we're working into that side body today. Breathing in. Breathing out. Really nice. Let's take one more inhale. And then exhale, everyone look down. Bring the left hand down. Bring the right hand down. Pick up the left heel. On an inhale, send the right arm to the sky. Come into a twisted pose. Easy twist. Press down through the right foot. Down through the left hand as you reach up through the 
sorry, down through the right foot, down through the left hand as you reach up through the right hand. Lovely. Now from here, free arm circles. Let's inhale here. As you exhale, circle the right arm down, back and around towards the floor. Inhale, reach the right arm forwards and up. Exhale, down, back and around. Really exaggerate the movement. One more time. Inhale, forwards and up. Exhale, down, back and around. This time, inhale, reach the right arm forwards and up to the sky. Hold it here. As you exhale, pivot onto the little toe edge of the left foot. Step the right foot back, coming into your side plank. Option to drop the left knee to the floor for a different variation. And then once you're there, inhale, reach the right arm up. And as you exhale, reach the right arm over the ear and you're finding again that side body stretch. Good. Wherever you are, breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, look down, place the right hands down, right toes down, come to plank. And then either down dog or lower through your vinyasa. Inhaling to your back bend if you're moving there. And then exhaling, lifting the hips up and back, coming into your downward facing dog. Really nice, taking a big breath in. And a big breath out. As you inhale, sweep the left leg high to the sky. As you exhale, bring the left knee to the left nose, to the nose, round the upper back. Squeeze it in as high as you can. Hold for three, for two, for one. Inhale, left leg lifts up and back. And then exhale, step the left foot forward to the front of the mat inhale for crescent lunge rise up reach high exhale open and expand come into your warrior two shoulders are soft let yourself sink in for a moment breathing in breathing out inhaling and exhaling, lovely. Let's inhale, flip the left palm, reverse warrior. Reach the left arm up as you bend into the left knee. Good, and then same as before, let's bend the left elbow, grab hold of the right ear, and then just let the weight of the head drop into that left palm as you stretch open through the left side body, breathing into that space. Really nice, inhale. And then as you exhale, come all the way up through center. Left forearm to left thigh, right arm reaches over the ear. Again, you can stay here. You can come a little bit lower, maybe hand onto block or floor. Just keep reaching the left knee forwards and the right fingertips forwards. Breathing in. Breathing out. Really nice. One more breath in. Exhale, look down. Place both hands to the floor. Pick up your right heel. And then inhale, send the left arm to the sky, coming back into that easy twist. Reaching up towards the ceiling with the left hand, pressing down to the ground with the right hand. Let's inhale. As you exhale, circle the left arm back, down and towards the floor. Again, like that, inhale, reach the left arm forwards and up. Exhale, circle it down and around. One more time, inhale, forwards and up. Exhale, down and around. This time, inhale, sweep forwards and up. We're going to hold it at the top. And then as we exhale, step the left foot back to the back of the mat, coming into your side plank. Right knee drops if you want to. Maybe you're challenging your balance by gazing up. And just breathing here. Lovely. Again, stay or reach the left arm over the ear. Feeling that stretch through the left side body. Breath in. And breath out. Amazing, everyone. One more inhale. 
and then exhale, left hand down, left toes down, come to plank. Either stay down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhaling to cobra or upward. And then exhaling back, downward facing dog. Really nice, big breath in. And a big sigh, let it go. <sighs> Lovely, let's inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forwards, turn the back heel flat. And then inhale, warrior two, rise up. As you exhale, bend into it, adjust the feet if you need to. This time, inhale, reverse your warrior, nice and traditional. And as you exhale, straighten the front leg, come all the way up and over into triangle pose. Right hand to the shin or thigh, left arm to the sky. Good, reaching out of the pose. Imagine there's a piece of string on that left finger and it's just drawing you up to the sky slightly. Breathing in. And breathing out. Lovely, let's inhale, look down. Option left hands to the hip. We're gonna bend into the right knee, find half moon pose. Maybe you're using a block, otherwise lean the weight into that right foot, lift the left leg off the mat. Open and expand into your half moon pose. Good, and if you're falling out, if you're working on this pose, who cares, that's how we learn it, that's how we practice. Breathing in. Breathing out, maybe you're hovering the right hand off the floor if this is familiar with you. One more inhale. And then exhale, right fingertips down, bend the right knee so you can bring the left fingertips down to the floor and square the hips. Inhale, lift the chest, look forwards. And then exhale, bend the right knee, step the left toes to the back of the mat, drop the left knee to the floor. Low lunge here. Inhale, let's send the arms to the sky. And exhale, just settle into it. Good, finding a stretch through that left hip flexor, breathing in, breathing out. Really nice, one more inhale. This time as you exhale, straighten the right leg, forward fold into your half splits, fingers either side of the thigh or the shin, chin draws towards the leg. Two more like that as we inhale, bend the right knee, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, straighten the leg as you forward fold. One more time, inhale, bend the knee, arms to the sky. And then exhale, straighten the leg as you forward fold. Hold your half splits here, take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Lovely. Inhale, re-bend the right knee, bring the hands next to the right foot. And then exhale, step it back into downward facing dog. Option to stay in down dog and breathe. Otherwise, let's inhale, roll forwards, come to plank. Exhale, bend the elbows however you want to lower. Inhaling upward or cobra. And exhaling, downward facing dog. Take a slow breath in. Slow breath out. And inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forwards, turn the back heel flat. And then inhale for warrior two, open the arms up. Exhale, bend into it. Lovely, again, adjust the feet. This time, inhale, reverse your warrior, nice and traditional. And then exhale, straighten the front leg, come all the way up and over into Utita Trikonasana, our extended triangle pose. Turning the chest to the right, breathing in. Breathing out, really pressing through the feet, inhaling and exhaling lovely let's take one more inhale as we look down and then as we exhale bend the left knee left fingertips to a block or the floor at the corner of the mat 
Shift the weight into the left foot, lift the right leg up into that half moon pose. Again, maybe you're practicing just finding balance. And if you have found balance, maybe you're practicing challenging yourself by becoming really light on that left hand. Maybe it even hovers off the floor. Breathing in. Breathing out. (laughs) Good. One more inhale. Exhale, left fingertips down, bend the left knee so the right fingertips can come down and then square the hips. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, step the right toes to the back of the mat, drop the right knee to the floor. Draw the hips forwards as you inhale, press through the left foot to bring your arms up to the sky into your low lunge. Good. And although you're kind of sinking into the hips, think about pressing through the left foot to find a little bit of strength. Let's take one more inhale here. And then exhale, straighten the left leg, half split as you forward fold over and down. Good. Twice more with the breath. Inhale, bend the knee, arms to the sky. Exhale, straighten the leg, forward and down. Inhale, bend the knee, arms reach up. Exhale, straighten the leg, forward fold, this time hold. Take a long, slow inhale. And a long, slow exhale. Inhale, bend that left knee, place the palms at the top. And then exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Again, you can stay here. Otherwise, last time, inhale, roll forwards to plank. Exhale, bend the elbows lower down. Inhaling upward or cobra. Exhaling downward facing dog. Take a big breath in through the nose. Big sigh, let it go. Lovely. From there, look forwards. Go ahead and lower the knees on the floor. From there, we're going to place the elbows down onto the mat, coming onto our forearms. Now, option one is you can stay um, on your forearms just in a tabletop position. Otherwise, we're lifting up into our dolphin. So toes are tucked underneath behind you. We're going to inhale, lift the hips. Draw the chest towards the back of the mat. And then if you're comfortable, begin to walk the feet towards the face. Try to come up as high onto the tiptoes as you can. Squeeze the belly, really, really firing up through the upper body. Holding here, finding that energy for eight. Maybe lifting higher for seven, for six, for five. Keep pressing through the floor for four, for three, for two. And then on one, walk the feet back towards the back. Drop the knees, push the bottom to heels, come into a moment of child's pose. Just let that go. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Lovely. And then let's just tuck the chin. Slide the hands towards the knees. Come to the back of the mat. Let's end with one of my favorites, our dancing camel. Really good for a nice energizing movement. So you can have your toes tucked or untucked. Left hand is going to go to the left corner of the mat behind you. As you inhale, sweep the right arm forwards and then up. As you push the hips forwards, come into your half camel. Lovely. And then as you exhale, bottom to the heels, sweep the right arm forwards, down and over to the right. As you inhale, left arm sweeps forwards and up. Good, and then just keep moving like that. Exhale, bum down, left arm sweeps to the left. Inhale, right arm up. Keep moving in your own time with your own breath. You can make this as big and as bold as you want to. Maybe you sweep all the way forwards and all the way up. Maybe it's smaller movements. Beautiful. And when you've done an even number both sides, 
We'll come all the way back to our kneeling position. Nice and simple seat. Bring your knees together. Sit your bum onto your heels. Rest your hands onto your thighs. From here, just close the eyes for a moment. Soften the shoulders. Take a big breath in. Slow breath out. And just take your right hand onto your heart, left hand on top of the right. See if you can feel your heart beating. Notice if it's sped up. And just witness it slowing down. And as you sit here, just take a moment to thank yourself for showing up today, for giving yourself this time to create space, not only physically, but mentally. Let's bring our hands together into prayer position, bow the forehead to the palms, as I thank you for sharing this short, but hopefully sweet practice with me today. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like this type of video, please don't forget to give it a like. Let me know in the comments. It really does help me out in bringing you guys videos that you actually want to see. Thank you, and I will see you next time.